All right, this is Father Jim Ferry at Our Lady of Lords West Orange. Our Lady of Lords West Orange, and we're in the convent. It, this is the convent living room ceiling that was um, broken through in order to check a pipe by a plumber. The, pl the pipe has since been fixed. The convent living room is approximately, um, let's say, about 10 by 20 in size, and the living room ceiling is... This is the living room ceiling. It has little cracks all over it. Um, I'm thinking of replacing the whole ceiling um, because of the cracks that are all over the ceiling in different places. Um, you know, more than just hairline cracks. Um, so I had a contractor look at this look at the ceiling, look at the whole room. Um, that's the convent living room ceiling. Here's another angle on the, um, the big hole that needs to be fixed. Now we're in the convent chapel. This is a window with water damage along the window. Um, and, um, then there's some water damage over the chapel as well, where we need to do plastering and painting. All right, in this room of the convent, there's a closet. In the closet, inside the closet on the floor, there's a big hole that was punctured by the plumber to look for the leaky pipe. That's been fixed. There's the hole that needs to be fixed. This is a bedroom upstairs where there's been a lot of water damage plaster that was damaged from water getting inside. I think we fixed the outside, but um, the inside looks pretty bad. Um, We've got more water damage in this other room, but this room is not as bad as the first room. Okay. This is above a window, in, in, in a window, in a window frame. Um, there's also some damage in this bathroom, some cracked tile. This bathroom is, um, adjoins the bedroom with a really bad plastered window was plastered or got the plaster got damaged. So there's some tile work and some ceiling cracking that needs to be fixed. This is another look at the room with a really bad window, a really bad plaster damage. What the contractor suggested doing was tearing out all this old plaster, bringing down the whole wall, leaving it bare, like bringing out, tearing out the old insulation and everything and leaving it bare and then waiting to see what happens in the next rainstorm. Is the water coming in to see if the water's coming in through the brick or not? I don't know if that's prudent to do that, but um, that's what was suggested.